Welcome all YouTubers, this is your white boy Mike, best tech product reviews, where I am not endorsed, paid, receive any discount in any way or shape for the products that I have or will review unless otherwise, guys. That way you get a full, unbiased, honest opinion. Anyhow, today we will be looking at a memory foam for comfort laptop kind of tray cushion. This is great for when you're chilling uh, in bed, guys, or on your sofa or love seat. How many times you have your laptop and you're looking down way too much, your legs get hot, and you need some angle, or you should be using a laptop and desktop always so it's more eye level and that the rear of your keyboard is raised up. You should always be doing that. So I did some research, compared for a good hour on different solutions. A lot of them looked way too large, bulky. Some of them have little cup holder gimmicks or a tray thingy in the back. Didn't really need that. Didn't want that thing too heavy, too large, but yet wanted something quality and appropriate and not outrageously expensive, kind of the best of all worlds, but without sacrificing quality. So this has a weird name. It's $20 on Amazon. It has a 4.8 out of 5 star rating, assuming they're all real, verified, honest reviews. That's another story. Uh, again, it's $20. It's Sophia Plus Sam Mini Memory Foam Laptop Desk Color Black. Also comes in a blue, a pink, a silver, and then a black version with a tablet slot on the rear. That way it, it can keep your like tablet standing up in landscape or something. It's a workstation that goes where you go, supports laptops 15 inches or smaller. I will be using my 13 inch Pro. Look for the, check out the, my review on my brand new state of the art badass 13 inch MacBook Pro with OLED touch bar. There's a part one and two in that. I will put a link in the description for uh, for part one or maybe both. Anyhow, L oh, and also how you can save $100 or more with no effort on the Apple site, totally legit. And where you can buy Apple stuff for no tax. And no, not eBay guys. There's one website hiding on the internet. It has a work surface of 17 inch by 12 and a half by 2.5. Provides a sturdy surface also for crafting, writing, reading, or working in bed. Cool and comfortable design. Built with memory foam cushion. Wrist rest. That's important. And handle for portability. So, uh, there's a little more description on the bottom, but it... Just repeats. Anyway, so let's open this up, see what it looks like. This little sticker thing. Uh, Gyeonggi, some Chinese wood industry, June 13. Whatever. Don't know what that is. Doesn't matter. Open this up. It, uh, it's not too heavy, which is what you want, but it's not super light either. And, uh, I don't know about total memory foam, but it's definitely, this definitely has a good denseness. It's like a, just a really a, a super firm, very dense foam pad. I wouldn't say it's acting memory foam like, but uh, let's see. Yeah, put my head on, it's a little too firm. But, oh, okay, so here you got your carry handle with the brand. I mean, you don't need it. You could just grip it with a hand, but it's a nice, it's a nice touch. And then you have the hard side. It looks like Hollywood Boulevard. It's a little bit speckly, very reflective, kind of like granite counter looking. It looks like it has a coating, but it doesn't peel off. Anyway, it's very, very reflective. And then, uh, so you got it curved in, curved in on this side, and then uh, rounded. On the sides, really nice. Then you have it curved in really sharply. Assume that's the the side that will be facing your body. 
That's what makes the most sense. Yeah, that's how it shows it in the picture. So it's oriented correctly. And let's look at a side view. You can see, uh, let's get the tape measure. See. Yeah, guys, I really impressed myself. My, my thoroughness. I don't know why. They don't really say what angle or how much it raises it. Maybe in the questions, but that's kind of cheating. Anyway, so from the back, looks like a, the very bad, eh, almost a two and a half, almost a two and a half rise in the rear. And the very back though, it's like, it's like two inch or soft two inch, but let's just call it a solid two and a quarter. And the very front, then it slims down to eh, about one and a half. Give or take. I don't know. It's got some angle, but not a super steep angle. I actually prefer steeper, honestly. But uh, I'm going to be using another built in flip angle stand on the bottom of the laptop that's extremely innovative, slim, and light. So look out the video for that. I'll be posting that in uh, about a week or so. I actually got another product kind of by accident, but one that I, that I want to keep. It's like the park slope stand, but see, so yeah, I'm going to be using another um, folding stand underneath that integrates to the bottom. So if I use that, then I can even raise it up uh, some more. But anyhow, so we got this set and propped up, and you can see overall the height of the, lap the laptop itself is now probably almost three and a third inches, something like that. And then in the front to the top of the laptop, to the top of the table is about two inches, give or take. So, so pretending I'm sitting on the couch. Actually, I'm sitting over here. Let's see. Let's angle it over here so you guys can see. I have this on my lap. I'm not sitting on the couch. I'm just sitting in the chair. Uh, kitchen, just a basic kitchen chair. Sorry, I'm not sure how to help with that. And I'm, I'm trying to learn. Oh, that was my echo. So I'm raising up my knees and just get kind of an idea, and it has a really good feel. So overall, I think I give this a thumbs up. I might do a follow up in the comments if I don't like it. Otherwise, uh, looks like a pretty cool, handy item. Let's tilt this back around. Anyway, please check out my other videos and subscribe because I will be posting a lot of videos. I already have up 20 and just started started this, pa this past month posting videos and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy my effort. Sorry I don't have any fancy video editing. I focus on quality, emphasis on detail. And please share a link to your family and friends even if they might not like this product because I have a lot of other cool innovative gadgets not all of them are electronic, but most of them are or tech related. So look out for that. And thanks for tuning in, guys. Take care.